All right, thanks, Mitchell. In national news, former President Donald Trump tightens his control of the GOP with hand-picked leaders. The Republican National Committee voted today installing a new chair and co-chair. Michael Wantley has been the leader of the North Carolina GOP and has experience as an oil and gas lobbyist. He also echoed Trump's voter fraud theories. A Trump's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, will become the co-chair of the RNC. She's expected to focus largely on fundraising and media appearances. Wantley thanked Trump for his trust and support after the vote today. The RNC is going to be the vanguard of a movement that will work tirelessly every single day to elect our nominee, Donald J. Trump, as the 47th president of the United States, flip the Senate, expand our majority in the House of Representatives. Ronna McDaniel stepped down after seven years. That's the longest run since the Civil War. She thanked Trump for giving her the historic opportunity to lead the committee. But she was forced out, blamed for GOP losses over the last few years. Leadership today also dispelled concerns that the RNC would help afoot Trump's legal bills. Those saying those are being covered largely by separate, a separate political entity, the Save America PAC.